Thank you. Thanks, Senator Cornyn. I'd also like to recognize the presence of uh, former House Democratic leader Dick Gephardt and former Lieutenant Governor Healy of Massachusetts for being here today and their work on the Bipartisan Council for Responsible Social Media. Thank you for joining us. Senator Whitehouse. Thank you. And let me uh, double down on that welcome to uh, Maura Healy for her work as Attorney General, because my questions are going to be about the legal situation here. Um, Ms. Bride, you mentioned in your testimony that your class action lawsuit was thrown out um, in large part because of Section 230 immunity. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. So um, we're having kind of a bipartisan moment here today with the Blumenthal-Blackman legislation, with the Durbin-Graham hearing. And I would be prepared to make a bet that if we took a vote on a plain Section 230 repeal, it would clear this committee with virtually every vote. The problem where we bog down is that we want 230 plus. We want to repeal 230 and then have X, Y, Z. And we don't agree on what the X, Y, Z are. Um, I would encourage uh, each of you, if you wish, to take a moment when the hearing is over and write down what you would like to see with respect to Section 230. If this is not your area, fine, don't bother. Um, would you be happy with a flat Section 230 repeal? Would you like to see Section 230 repealed with one, two, or three other things added? What would your recommendations be as we look at this? It strikes me that when you repeal Section 230, you revert to a body of law that has stood the test of hundreds of years of experience, hundreds and thousands of trials in courtrooms uh, around the country. And we know pretty well how to deal with it. And we've also had the experience of honest courtrooms being very important when powerful forces full of lies need to be brought to heel. And um, nobody knows better than Dick Blumenthal the tragedy of the families of Sandy Hook and the lies that were told about what took place that day. And it took an honest courtroom to hold the prime liar in all of that accountable. And there was a lot of lying told about the Dominion Corporation. And it took an honest courtroom, trial still underway, discovery still happening. But in the honest courtroom, you have the chance to dig down and see what were the lies and who should be held accountable, rather than just have it all be fought out in the noise of the internet and the public debate. So, to me, it seems like an enormous amount of progress would be made if we would repeal Section 230. And um, your thoughts on that from each of you would be very compelling. If there's something somebody would like to say right now, I've got two minutes left and you're welcome to jump in. But I mean, if you just can't hold back and you've got your answer ready, but I'd really be interested in the considered judgment of anybody who would care to answer about what the world would look like if Section 230 weren't there, Ms. Bride. Thank you, Senator. I, I would like to see a minimum of Section 230 repealed to the point where these companies can be held accountable for their own policies that lure kids into their products, like in the case of the anonymous apps. Monitor, we monitor for cyberbullying and we reveal the identities of those who do so. If you have that policy as a company, you need to be able to follow it like every other industry in America. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Yeah, the things we're looking at, I think, most closely here are, first, the company owns its own policies and ought to be accountable for them. That has nothing to do with something that pops up and then gets put on a platform, and when should they be accountable for what's on the platform. These are the basic operating systems designed by them of their platform, and they should own that, period, end of story. And the other is when they're on notice. When something is up on their platform and they know perfectly well that it's up there and they know perfectly well that it's dangerous and they don't bother to deal with it responsibly because they know that they won't be held accountable. They can do whatever they please to try to generate clicks off even dangerous content. 
So those are the areas we're looking at, and um, I look forward to hearing the advice uh, from this terrific panel, and I want to thank uh, Chairman Durbin and Ranking Member Graham for hosting this. Um, Senator Blackman had stepped out and returned. Now let me just say uh, thank you to her and to Senator Blumenthal for your terrific work together. Thank you, Senator Whitehouse. Senator Blackburn, you're next. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to